Are you guys ready for this? The long requested, long awaited day in the life of Oliver. Ollie and I have a little routine in the mornings where we come downstairs before Mary gets up. Do you guys see his new collar right there? Of course, when I got the choice, I picked the one with the plants on it. Today's video is sponsored by Whistle, which is a fitness, health, and GPS tracker for dogs, and we'll tell you more about that later in the video. Before we get there, Ollie and I are headed outside, and we need to talk a little bit about Ollie's retirement. You guys know that Ollie has walked beside us through years and years of health decline, hospital stays, and everything in between. We're so grateful for the role that Ollie has played in our family and specifically as Mary's health declined. About 18 months ago, we found out that Oliver has arthritis and he ended up needing to get x-rays and more diagnostic stuff from the vet. And through conversations, we found out more of what that would look like for Ollie going forward. It wasn't an immediate retirement for him, but over the course of the next few months, we continually evaluated his health and he had some other injuries. And it turned out that the timing of Oliver's retirement was perfect. You just saw me take my very first dose of Trikafta. And in the months to follow, <laughs> I started doing a lot better. And it was the perfect timing for Oliver to retire and take a new role, a very special role in our family. The role where we still spend every day together making memories, stretching, laughing, lots of tail wagging. <laughs> oh, he makes us laugh every day and we are just so grateful to have him. Each morning, Ollie and I get geared up and head on a walk in our neighborhood. We're really grateful for the space that we have in our neighborhood. And our walks actually started when we were, before we got a fence in our backyard. And Oliver loved taking walks so much that we continue to take a walk every morning and every evening. And in our neighborhood, just off to the left, we have a trail through the woods that Ali and I like to go and explore and it's a great space for Ali to go off leash and enjoy the outdoors. And they brought me on a hike recently and Ali knows the path. He knows the way. It is so darling. It's fun for me to just have this special time with Ali and but every time we get home Ali comes in the door and he goes and finds Mary. <laughs> It's the sweetest thing. I say that he has to take inventory. Every time he gets home, he comes to see where I'm at. And I really, really love that. We have our routines with his food and water, and we're really grateful for that little elevated uh, feeding trough that he eats from, and I think he enjoys it. Do you want to go get in the car? Oh, in the afternoons, you can often find him on the couch, having a nice nap by the fire but he will get up immediately if he hears any of his special words like, do you want some dinner? Do you want to take a walk? Or do you want to go get in the car? That might be his favorite. I think because of the many years that Oliver spent as a service dog going everywhere in the car with us, it's super special for him and I think important for him to get out of the house from time to time and take a little ride with us. You guys know us. One of the things we love to say is, the snuggle is real. It's true. I mean, look at him. Whistle sent us this Whistle Go Explore tracker, which is a health, fitness, and GPS tracker for dogs. And I've always wondered what a GPS tracker, a GPS tracker always seemed like a good idea um, to give you that peace of mind to know your pet is safe at home or if he were to get out and we have an experience where that happened that really scared us but in the week that we've had to try this out one of the things that has been really fun is 
to learn that it's much more than a GPS tracker and it tracks Oliver's fitness and even health behaviors and like extra excessive licking or scratching or that sort and of like thing. And like tracking his drinking and things like that. And so it's an amazing way to kind of keep an extra set of, it's not eyes, but uh, tracking on your pet. Just like many of you, we also want Oliver to be healthy and to, uh, one of the things that's hard is our dogs can't talk. And so any tools that we can have in our arsenal to keep an eye on our, our pet's health and safety are super helpful. When I learned about the whistle tracker, you want to hear the story that came to my mind? It was a few years ago, we were living in Massachusetts and our yard was fenced in except for a small portion in the back where it was wooded. One night, Oliver had been outside to go to the bathroom and we called his name to come back. He was around the back of the house. We were out the front of the house. Yeah. And we said, Ollie, Ollie boy. And we didn't hear anything. He didn't come running. He didn't bark. He didn't, we didn't hear anything. And that pit, that sinking feeling. Mm -hmm. Frantically running down the street, calling his name. I mean, frantic is the right word for it because we were just, we were just terrified. And so when I heard that this not only tracks fitness and that sort of thing, but that GPS aspect brings so much peace of mind to me. So if any of those aspects of the whistle tracker resonate with you or would address any of the concerns that you've had for your pet, it would be a great thing to look into. And they might make a great gift for a pet lover in your family or a friend. Uh, this Christmas season and so they have some holiday sales going on you can click the link in the description and find about th out about those and we want to thank Whistle for letting us try out the Whistle Go Explore this week. Oh stretch! I've heard a meme like if your dog stretches and you don't say stretch did it even happen? Did it happen? It happened because we said stretch. Stretch and shake and yawn. The old stretch, shake, and yawn, and wag. Stretch, shake, yawn, and wag, and lick. Stretch, shake, yawn, lag, and wig. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> In our new house, we knew we needed to have a special cabinet where we keep his big bones and his dental treats. So when we say, would you like to have a big bone? He goes to the cabinet, opens it up, and he can usually reach in there just fine and he gets himself a big bone. It's a great way for Oliver to continue using his brain and using the skills of opening a cabinet and that, I don't know if that's dexterity to use your teeth to open a cabinet, <laughs> but he's good. Ollie and I go on an evening walk as well, and another cool feature of the Whistle Go Explore is it has a light that you can turn on from the app and it's a great way to find the dog if it's lost or just illuminate our walk as we walk the neighborhood at night. And I'm loving getting notifications from the Whistle app about how much activity Oliver is getting in a day. So the continued, uh, what's the word, routine? There we go. You know, he eats, he drinks, and every evening, he gets a little antsy sometimes in the evening, like, I think I wanna play ball. I think I wanna go for another walk. So Peter and Ollie are often out in the evening enjoying our backyard with all the lights around the fence, which is one of our favorite things about our new house. Okay, is it still new that we've been here for over a year? I guess so, but Ollie loves getting that full run when we're out in the yard and we play ball and he loves the grass, although sometimes he digs it up and I'm <laughs> not too fond of that, but we have a lot of fun and it's a great way to wind down for the evening before we head up to bed. Oh, another stretch to end the day. And we get in bed, all four of us, and have a cozy evening together. And we're gonna say, as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Ollie boy. Good night. <laughs>